girls into town because it's kind of an historical moment, really. Uh, and what, how would you say it? What's it like? Depressing. It's so weird, isn't it? And these are parts of London they've walked through so many times, getting stressed by the crowd. Yeah, it's the silence. There's like a dull, nothingy sound, apart from obviously that train. But look, these are where the girls and we've always look, eaten. Wagon Mamas, Pret, the bookshop, I mean, everything is shut. It's like it's an eternal Sunday, and yet Sundays are really busy, don't they? So look guys, just to give you an example, this is Tavistock Street in uh, Covent Garden. All these restaurants, this is Saturday night. They've been packed. Packed. I mean, like Maddie just said, you kind of feel like you oughtn't to be here. And if we were coming in to socialize with people, we oughtn't to be here, but we're not. We just wanted to chronicle for you guys what this place is like and that people are actually observing it. Look. Oh my God. Oh my days. Yeah, you can. We have to be so careful. You can. So obviously. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Was that James Bond in there? Yeah. <laughs> There's a mannequin of James oh, Bond. I thought he had a gun. That made me jump out of my skin. See him there? God, it jumped out of my skin. Wait, did you get some I don't know if I got the beginning of it. I actually thought a man was dead. So obviously. Oh! oh. oh. That's so funny. I'm just going to be filming as we come around here because this view coming around to the left, as the girls know this view so well. Look around here. No way. Huh? Oh, the cyclists are still here. Oh, God. Of course, the cyclists are still here. Just saying, you can actually hear birdsong. Yeah, you can hear birdsong. There you go. Oh my god. We're now outside Brandy Melville, which is one of the girls' regular haunts. And look, absolutely all there is open is a cupcake store. I guess it's officially takeaway food, isn't it? There's the pubs, the quiet pubs of London. Oh, okay, Urban so guys, what is London without pubs? <laughs> it's nowhere. It's nowhere. <laughs> we have to reiterate guys is it's 10 to 7 on a Saturday night so that would have crowds of people all out here. The shops, if you can see over there, diesel's still open and this pick and wait is still open too but obviously there's no one in them. So you can still be open but there's just no one here. But oh this God, would so be so absolutely heaving. So this isn't like a time of day when you <coughs> wouldn't be shoppers. These would all be open now. How bizarre is it girls? This is, this is your stomping ground isn't it for shopping? It's like a film set. It's just like being on a film set. So what did you just say? This is usually hustly bustly. Yeah. You can't get across the road. This is Seven Dials. Check this out and I'll walk you around. Down all of the streets. There's not a single car. Not a single car. That means everyone has listened to the government. And that's it's good. Thing, really. good. It's, it's definitely eerie, isn't it? No. You saw this during the daylight, but look at this at night. Piccadilly Circus. Absolutely no one there. Crazy girls. I mean, you just can't walk here normally. What did you just say? London is supposed to be stressful. 
It's true. I said when I was walking around the other day, yeah. I was walking around the other day, I said, I said, most people who live in London have a relationship with London like with an irritating partner. And it's like, as soon as they've gone away for a bit, you're like, oh, come back, I miss you. Yeah, it's like every Londoner has a toxic relationship with London. Yeah. And there's no toxicity. <laughs> it's true. Five guys are shut. That, <laughs> that's not good. This is now casino, cinema, as you says, no pubs. Pubs, would you really no pubs? No pubs. No. Absolutely. No. And then there's the cinema, the Odeon lights off. Put the lights on. And then this bit here, you can't move for, can you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh look, we'll be back. There's the Prince Charles. That's crazy. Head down this way. We'll head back. So Kiki, Kiki's got a bit scared. It's a bit horror. It's a bit horrific. Look, they've boarded up really well-established restaurants and bars. I'm presuming they're worried about looting or something like that. I guess with a lot no footfall, there aren't many people in town. I mean, there are literally it's about a handful of people we've passed, isn't it, tonight? So if you imagine you've got virtually, I mean, look, there's no light on my face because all these buildings are, are off. And this Pennywise, road, Pennywise yeah, Pennywise. <laughs> this road is usually heaving with people. It's pretty much just the workers in places. Look, the lights are all going off. There's the Canadian bar. This is, as Maddie said, this is history happening. This is the history of the future. Uh, and there aren't actually that many people in town chronicling it or filming it, bizarrely. Ah, oh, that was nice. Just had Skype pub again with my mum and dad. And um, Mark's out with the girls. So I can do whatever I want. Oh yeah, I can only stay in. <laughs> I can clear up my bedroom. Give a stranger a hug. <sighs> Have an abundance of toilet roll. Oh well. Ray, why have you got a glass Because the card is about to deliver. What has happened to our lives? I feel despairing today. It's Mother's Day and I all the facilities to celebrate, and I'm not saying they're the only ways you can celebrate, but buy a card, buy flowers, cook a meal, take someone out, have all been removed. And yeah. how, can, how can one in any way feel glorious? It's hard, it's hard. I mean, it's very hard. I'm not wanting to depress people, but it's the truth of how I feel right now. Mm. I've got a pain in my chest and I can't work out if it's coronary it's... heart disease or my stupid dance in the Sunday it show. It was your stupid dance in the Sunday show. I can hope so. I saw it happen. Did you? Yeah. Morning, chaps. Mother's Day. Just tighten myself up a bit. I had a, I had a cry this morning. I'm going to be honest, I had a cry. It's just... Just think about all the, over all the other Mother's Days and and really, you know, how important it is that we all keep a different face on for the kids. Um, uh, I know a lot of you will be feeling the same way. It's just, a lot of the time I'm really good at just being positive, but I thought, you know what, this morning I just needed to not be positive. But I'll pick myself up now. As my makeup's going on, I'm picking myself up. <laughs> Put a face on, literally. Putting a face on means a whole new thing, doesn't it now? <laughs> um, yeah, so, yeah, it's a very weird one. I just posted about my mum on um, Instagram and I got so emotional. Because uh, it's, 
the cruelty of this whole insanity, I think, is only just dawning on us. That it's gonna, that it's invisible, that it, that it affects our most vulnerable and our most precious. And it's completely changed our lives in the way that we all knew them globally, globally. So, you know, I think we have to give ourselves a bit of a break when sometimes it's like, fucking hell. <laughs> Overwhelming. But I'm going to try and find the joy in today. The sun shining, which is a blessing. Um, I think they I was reading some bits and pieces today. I'm not watching the news, but I was just reading some bits and pieces from BBC News and things like that. And then I found a little bit of film, a clip. Oh, I'm just going to get toffee one second. Yeah, I found this clip from um, uh, this morning. It's Eamon Holmes and Ruth interviewing this a scientist from Sheffield. I think it was on, what day is it? I think it must have been on Friday. They had him on the show. And he really made me feel hopeful. <coughs> Because they don't over-exaggerate scientists, do they? And yet he seemed very hopeful about a drug that they're working on. And they said it's... Um, I think he said it's already been trialled. I think he said. And they've been able to... Um, get it through a lot of stages that would take months and months normally in a few days. And he's very, very hopeful of this drug. And there's a lot of that going on. So, yeah, that made me feel quite hopeful last night. Sorry, that was a big gulp. <laughs> but I am getting really, really pissed off with people that aren't observing <clears throat> all the things that we've been asked to do. I just think, do you really want this to go on for years? Because if we don't just knuckle down and do what they want us to do, there's every chance it could, you know. People gathering in houses 50 at a time. I mean, really? Really? It's just pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. And I'm just, I might do a rant about it actually. I might do a good old rant on Instagram. I'll, I'll take the risk. I was thinking about that this morning. I was thinking it will be such a risk because I'll get a lot of hate. But I feel so strongly about it that we've got to do. Listen, what the government want more than anything else is for the economy to be thriving. For them to ask us to stay in, some of us not to go to work, to not do the things that we you know, that basically keep the economy bubbling and boiling, they're not going to ask us to do, to do that unless it's really fucking urgent. Meanwhile, what are we going to do about toilet roll? What are we actually going to do? I said to Mark, I think the government have got to work out some sort of system where we all get a food drop to our houses because people can't be trusted. People are going in, wiping the shelves, not thinking about anybody else. Um, and we've got to go to rationing because people can't respect it. They said if we hadn't done this, they would not have to go to rationing, but we're gonna to have to go to rationing now. I bet you, I bet you anything they can ration us. If only people have just done what they bloody asked, which was just take what you need. There would have been enough for all. Cardo man's here. Anyway, I'm gonna stop wittering on now. Oh my God. How many? Did you make that? You made that. Made it. I think you made it. Our favourite from Mother's Day. Big Benoffy hearted pie. Cooks. A big hearted McNoffy pie. So stunning. How many? Uh, oh. Three, I think. When are you going to break my heart? <laughs> <laughs> Don't go breaking my heart. I can if I try. Oh. What do you think? It's up to you. No. no. Have you added this to your playlist, Kiki? Tiramisu yeah, and banoffee pie. A perfect banoffee pie. I mean, that's the best banoffee pie I've ever seen. You know, all I can say to you is shit my mister. Right, keep the gloves on, Kiki. <laughs> keep the gloves on. <gasps> so what I usually do is I bash it up. Can you see with never plate? In the packet. You know what might be nice? Instead of putting the chocolate all over, but you decide, you could 
Just put it all around the edge. You decide if you think you prefer it. You decide, but her idea is the best. No, it's not necessarily the best well, at all. Weird, no, I'm just it's suggesting. It's my that I pie, want to and I'll do what I want. Morning, team. It's an absolutely stunning day. The weather would in no way belie the fact that we are a country, a world, a planet at war. At war and in crisis. Let's just go out and listen to the sound of the birds. Stunning. Stunning. So, Nadia Sawada off the telly, who's not off the telly anymore. How are you, Nads? No. She's not Nadia... Off the telly anymore. She's not Nadia Sawada off the telly. What are we going to call you? Uh, I know what we call her. Nadia Sawala, who's off the telly. <laughs> Did you get it? Off the telly. She's off the telly. Oh, God. A bit weird. Anyway, Nads at the moment is currently, where are you going to get some fruit and veg? I'm just trying to see if... New Covent Garden. Somebody just texted me and said you can order from New Covent Garden. Yeah. So, because obviously we, we don't want to go out at all because we've got Nanny Di living with us now. And so... So anyway, so it's Monday morning, and I'm imagining that the length and breadth of the country today... Oh, options are out of stock. Oh, there we go. It's a challenging day, because most households, like us... You're thinking, I'm going to say, no, have run out of fucking coffee! <laughs> uh, well, I've ordered shitloads of the stuff, but I, think, I have heard Amazon orders aren't doing well. So here's the thing. No, I'm joking. I'm not joking. I'm joking. I'm not joking. I'm joking. I'm not. Um, but most households have also got today... What was delivered yesterday was handed to a resident. Well, I didn't receive it. Could it be in one of these boxes? I said you only checked all the boxes. This could be so exciting. This looks like it could be something. Open it. Open it. Open it. Anyway. What I was really, what I was really. You said the coffee's not in there. <laughs> We've all been in a panic. We all wanted. I didn't have one coffee I yesterday because I was saving those for you because I knew it. And we had bloody coffee. Oh God, Mark. Why did you say I've checked? You said you were going to be calmer. Why did you say I've checked? Because I had. I don't know all the other Little ones. Little shit. These are the ones I ordered. Oh, no, no, they're the ones I ordered. Because they're much cheaper than Nespresso. So it's a, like quarter of the price. I'm oh, these are the ones you get from Kazakhstan. Let's try it. Um, no, what I was going to say was most households today things. have got their children at home. And we've seen already images of homeschoolers with their children in uniform with tightly cut pulled in ponytails, and that's the boys, sitting at tables, already going through a timetable that Churchill would have been proud of. We don't subscribe to that kind of school of thought. Not in an apocalypse. Our kids are getting up. <laughs> because later they'll be doing learning with us. So anyway, it is a challenge for most households today because the kids are around. So what does that mean? So this is the inaugural testing of the coffee from Kazakhstan. Um, has a sort of nicotine aroma. Did you know that coffee is uh, quite good for asthma? Did you know that? It's a good bouquet. What do they mean when they say it's a good bouquet when they're doing wine? Do they mean a bouquet of grapes? Good bean. Mm, a roasted bean. Okay, going in. You sure, this is coffee. It's disgusting. It will have a strong caffeine in it, but it tastes nice. Oh my god, don't tell me. Taste it. 
taste it. I'm worried. Oh, I'm worried. I've lost my taste sense of taste. I just want to know. How do you know? What if something's just tasteless, and you're tasting its tastelessness? No, it tastes like strychnine. It's in a tiny bag. I thought it was a... Say morning subs. Morning subs! Oh, what a sing a wee voice to hear in the crisis that is an apocalypse in Armageddon. What do you, what do we all think subs about the crisis in Armageddon? How do you feel about it, Mum, this morning? When you wake up, how do you feel? What are your first thought, second thought, third thought? First thought is, I'm alive. <laughs> That's a good one. Hello, Second sweetie. thought. Yeah, especially when you get to my age, that's a good thought to think. Yeah, not that old. No, no, but... Yeah, yeah. second thought? Uh, um, second thought is, um, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd forgotten, basically, and now... Third thought? I've got Third my family thought. downstairs. Yes! Mm. I'm going to get down there and see if they're all right. Do you like a double espresso? I'd love one. Yeah, Nadia's bought some really high blend coffee grain. Capsules just for you. Oh, thank you. Haven't you, Ned? Alright. And what is this? What is this? What, what is this going on? Uh, this is vlog. Um, what area? Vlog. Vlog. A vlog? It's a vlog. It's a vlog. What is a vlog, Mum? A vlog. A, what is a vlog? To, I know as much as that dog. It's nice having you here, Mum. We don't. I don't speak to you soon. It's the first day. Nice knowing you can't <laughs> escape. It's very weird, that, actually. I'm about to mow the lawn. Are you? Yeah, give you a blank canvas to get cracking on. Is that tissues? It's going in tissues my Tissues in the bin. In my pocket! You're like, Mum, do you remember Peanuts with Snoopy? Not a lot, no, actually. You don't remember Snoopy? I don't really Charlie like Brown. I never liked him much. But they used to be, one of the characters used to sort of drop rubbish everywhere. That's you. Take exception to that. I think I'd rather pick up rubbish. No, you are very tidy actually. You're meticulously tidy. Well, I, I, I am a tidy. I room. like your little gnome hat. Now, just look at her Smurf hat. Oh, oh, that's that's good. Good. How do you bought it? How do you bought it? How do you bought you it? For, for Cornwall. Give us a thumbs up. You know, in the sides. days when things were normal and you yeah. had holidays and you had Christmas and then you went away and then everybody bought each other presents and everybody went, ha 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 ha. And then everybody went, oh, I'll just go down to the shops and get, I don't know what yet. Or I'll just go into town or I'll just get a takeaway tonight. Ha 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 ha. And what's happening today? Oh, everybody's dying before that. <laughs> <laughs> I've decided to start wearing a new baseball cap for coronavirus times. Uh, it'll hopefully cheer me up and cheer others up too. I've decided to wear this. I'm just saying to Kiki, it's kind of nice that like she's going to have a nan here all the time, she loves us here all the time. The dogs are so happy because we're here all the time. I spent three hours looking for somewhere that I can order food from because I'm going to do a whole um, series of films for people because I realise lots of you subs don't cook so I thought we've got to do a how to cook how to actually cook going right back to the basics yeah with cans with cans how to boil an egg how to do all of that because loads of people never cook yeah and I should have a go oh I can hear Nanny Nanny dies coming in with something oh my god <sighs> who gave you that a doctor what <laughs> for <laughs> <laughs> told you not to wear masks. They no, say it no, makes no, it worse. Yeah, I know, but it makes it reassures the people, if you're in a shop or something and you've got gloves on and a mask, it reassures the people behind the counter. And I stopped wearing it because, you know, that, you know that problem I always have on Halloween when my face is, is my cheeks are too... No, what have you been to say? I don't know that. You do, because you always yeah. hold up a skeleton mask. It doesn't stay on, Mum. It doesn't seem to stay on, no. Can you tighten it? I don't know. But, and all well, this... Don't go out around doing that. Somebody will muck you mom, for mom, it. Mum, mum, from the side, yeah. turn to the side. It makes you look like a golden retriever. <laughs> it's like you've got a snout. And also, all this stuff that they put inside to catch all the horrors, it's going in my mouth. Because don't they say that the virus gets caught in the fabric yeah, and then stays there? Yeah, it breathes. It exhausts me, that's why I stopped. I thought, this is ridiculous. Mum, you look like <laughs> a penguin. <laughs> 
She looks from the Golden side. Retriever. She doesn't look like a golden retriever. Let me take a photo of you from the side. Okay. Look to the side. Go woof. Woof. I need a tail wagging, don't Go I? Go woof woof. Woof woof. Go woof woof woof. Oh, shut up. Just take it. <laughs> Wag your tail. <laughs> okay. I don't know what to make of that. Well, can you take a photo so I can see? I've taken it. Oh, no. Okay. So as all the rumour mill keeps carrying on about lockdowns and rationings and all this kind of stuff, we are feeling a little bit like maybe we should have stockpiled. <laughs> um, just a little bit, maybe. I don't mean a lot. But um, they're making a list over there of non-perishables that we could potentially get. So me and Nads are going to head out in a minute. Um, and we're going to head to some of the independent stores. What's that headline? We're going to head out to some of the uh, independent stores. Uh, you know, um, convenience stores uh, run by often the sort of Greek community, Turkish community. Um, and what have you, to see if we can source some uh, key ingredients from those places. We kind of want to avoid the supermarkets because they're becoming super spreader places, aren't they? They're becoming places where lots of people are within six, two, two meters of each other, six feet of each other. So anyway, so that's what we're going to do now. She likes What are the other things that you want? Chicken, Cheetos, chicken, chicken, and cornetto. Question mark, question mark, no chance. I don't know that there was another C. Cheetos, chicken, and cornetto. Oh. Chicken, chicken what? Well, just if you can get any fresh chicken, there's no chance. Of course we're going to try and get chicken. There's no chance. I know, I'm just putting it down. They're making a list of foods that they're trying, that we're hoping to get in case there's a bit of rationing. Okay. You all right? Yeah. That's a bit of a Richter's grin. No, I can't say this. Say it and I'll cut it. Oh, the, the fa a famous face of TV is going to be, you know, rush in, grab stuff and rush out and not try not to be recognised. They're going to all recognise But them. she's now just off the I know she is at the moment. <laughs> Hey? I think it is the virus. I think I look like I've got the virus. The and I'm going to spray you, Matt. You did one where you edited it where I kept screaming. It was really funny. And um, <laughs> put music onto it. Oh, That's the one where everyone thought we were horrible to you. Oh, no, I love that. Thank you. See? Yeah. Hmm? Are you going to put this in anything? Don't pick your nose, Mark. That's not even funny. How about the fancy bright material? I don't know. Oh, fuck! I just don't know if that's all your nose. But just what? Fancy fancy. What about your nose? What about your nose? Right, we're in the same quandary as everybody else in that you're told not to go out, but then you can't get any online food deliveries. We didn't hoard, so we need to go out and get food because we haven't got any. Um, Feeling really sorry for our dogs because me and Nanny die gardening a lot today and Toffee and they both keep running out looking at me like, oh, what are we playing today? I know. Bless them. They're so joyfully unaware. Well, there's not loads of cars So there's no, going loads in. of cars. So we're going to Sainsbury's because we, we figured people probably go early in the morning. So we're hoping we can get in there, fly through and get back out again. Oh, bless Pray them. for us. The guys have done their list. The kids. Kids, when the biggest kid of them all, Nanny yeah. died. Yeah. Sour cream Pringles, chocolate Horlicks, Coconetto ice cream. That's Nanny Thelma. Nanny died. Chicken super noodles, knickknacks, dairy milk choco, buono choco, bagels, potatoes, Rabina light, normal vanilla yogurt, honey and hot chocolate. Well, that's a very healthy list. <laughs> Wish us luck, guys. I'm also going in. We're into preparing actually to spend the afternoon probably driving around everywhere looking for food. But the thing is, though, I, I am very nervous about this idea of, you know, the virus hanging in the air and mm. the supermarkets are being talked about as places where you can pick it up. Yeah. So going in now, I'm thinking I'm going to pull my Parker hood up and my thing tight. Should I? Right. 
Is that going to help? I what don't do know. We do? What do we do? I'm, I'm keeping. Well, I don't even want to breathe in there. Yeah. We oh, have... God! There's car park spaces and everything. Okay. Now this could be one of two things. It could be that there's nothing in there to get. Hmm. Or oh, yeah, no. It's, it's reasonable. Well, this is how it actually would be this time on a on a Monday. To be fair. Yeah. This is as busy as it. Oh, would this be. is so great. We could strike lucky here. You never know. There might be some food. So I'm just going to socially distance park my car from other cars. If I'm honest, I feel so anxious about going in anyway. You know the air droplets. How? How? I'm worried they're not telling us how infectious this bloody thing is. Um. So we're going in. Nads, watch yourself. Don't get hit by a car. Have you got a pound coin? I haven't got a pound coin. No. Shit. Hang on. I don't want to touch a trolley though. Oh, if, there's one. There's if, one out. Yeah, but if hang on. No, I've only got a two pound coin. You not got one? No. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back to the car. Pound coin. <laughs> could be the death of us. Well done. Can you get this stuff while well, I get the other stuff? So that we're spending much less time in there, so half the time we're in there. Give me the pound. What's going on? We only get one trolley. Yeah, but that's right. We can go back and forth. It's silly for us to go all the way round. Well, I think, aren't we safer in United? No, I just want to reduce the amount of time we're in there. So if we separate... Don't touch anything. Got these on there. If petrol pumps are dangerous, these are dangerous. Yeah, but we've got gloves on. Am I going to wash our hands after? No eggs. No eggs. Go and have a look in the pasta side. So pasta oil. Hmm? Gnocchi? You like gnocchi, don't you? You managed to make that look like everything you needed was there. Yeah, because I'm making to. <laughs> okay, so we're back. I found every part of that. Extremely stressful. stressful. Extremely stressful. Extremely stressful. Mm -hmm. Felt like every microscopic decision. So every time I walked, I was thinking of where I was in relationship to people. As I picked so things up, I was thinking about where was I placing them. And I was thinking about where am I putting my hands in the car, on the trolley on the pound coin, everything, everything. You know, every item that we've bought has clearly been touched by two, three, four, five people in the unpacking, shelving, putting it on shelves and all that kind of stuff. Can so we just get in now and wash everything? I'm more stressed oh about Oh my God, that. I think we're gonna come through the other side of this with our bloody agoraphobia. Lots of people already suffering from that. God, I feel for you. Or germophobia. God, I feel sorry for people that have suffered with germophobia their whole lives. It's hell. I get it. I get what OCD is like. It's hell. And we need to get a UV infrared camera so we can see all the hot spots <laughs> of everything. I now treat bags of grocery like it's got rabies. <laughs> Go, see that. I see it as evil. In the supermarket, it was like this. And at one point, right, we were standing at the um, at the checkout, and there was a guy who was just packing his stuff. With a face mask. And literally, Dad was like this. I said, Mark, Mark, change your face. He goes, no, not prepared to. <laughs> no, I wasn't prepared to. He's wearing a mask. This is my mask. Mask <laughs> oh of misery. Oh, my God. You're looking for trouble. <laughs> We've got apples. That's nice. So what are you cleaning these with? Bleach. Did you notice how all the bleach aisles are completely empty? I didn't even look because I knew there wouldn't be anything. We'll just manage. Oh, I've got some sweeteners. Oh, I'm digging them. Yeah, that's how I do it. I take them out like that, I count them. All those for me, please. No. <laughs> even my daughters are managing what, I in what my intake is. So I even got avocados and I discovered today, guys, on Instagram, you can freeze your avocados whole in the skin. How exciting. Oh, well, we love avocados here. It'd be hard when there aren't any avocados coming out. Yeah, it would be hard. Because there be aren't frozen. any planes. Don't forget. I'm really cheery for one simple thing. Kiki made me probably the greatest cup of tea I've ever had made all my life. She's a brilliant yes, tea maker. Oh, it's the greatest banoffee pie I've ever had. But look.
And what I'm really pleased about with this new collection of things is that not a single one of them is decaffeinated. <laughs> you just knocked over my house of Starbucks. House of Starbucks. That was my Starbucks house. When I was a boy, for some reason, my grandparents used to buy huge boxes from a cash and carry of Colgate toothpaste. And there were thousands of tubes of boxes like this, and I used to build forts and put my soldiers on them and throw robbers at them. That was the idea of a missile. I loved it. And then they stopped buying Colgate. But no one came and knocked them over like Kiki did. I'm gonna go and see Nanny die. I'm gonna go and irritate Nanny die. Thank God. What? Thank God. It's not very nice. <laughs> indoors. <laughs> it's taken over my entire house. 